Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, boss man, let me show you something about you. Let me show you something about what God said about you, my brother. Good. Deuteronomy 76. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. You ain't going to hear this nowhere else. The Christian church has going to teach you. The true brother, the blessed, the Israelites will teach you. What? Great. For thou art a holy people. Great. Unto the Lord thy God. You see this, son? The so called blessed and finished. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. He said, We are the. God said, We are the holy people to the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee he to said, be. He said, He chose us to be what? To be a special people. He said, We are special people unto Him. Read. Unto Himself. God, think about it. When you have something special, that means what? It's different compared to everything else. Right. Let's see how special we are unto the Most High God. Read. Above all people. Above what? All people. He said we are above every other nation on the planet Earth today. Right. Meaning what? The white man, we better than him. Right. The Chinese man, we better than him too. Yes. Right. Meaning what? This, this white man that we have is our Jesus. That's not the true image of Christ. Right. What does Christ look like? What does Christ look like? You said we don't know? That's two different, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing two different answers. Let's find out. This is the truth and I teach it. Right. But guess what? The prophets are back. You're looking at the true prophets. That's right. We are here to reel you in because y'all the prophets of the most high God's out Right. All right. Be what you got. Revelation. The book of Revelation. Verse chapter one. 1 and verse 1. Three. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now the root word, the root word of revelation is what? It means to reveal. Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to reveal Jesus Christ. Read it. Read on. Verse 14. Read it. Verse 1 again. Yes, sir. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. God's servant is who? The nation of Israel. That's right. The 12 tribes of Israel. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. I'm saying so-called because we're not blacks and Hispanics. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Now read verse 14. We're going to show you who, what Christ looked like. All right. Revelation right. chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. I gave you two descriptions of Christ. He said his hair and his hair were white and woolly. It's talking about the hair on his head and the hair on his face. Right. Right. You say it again? You can't get a white man out of that. Yes. Look, look, look. So you say you can't get a white man out of that? Who is that? Huh? Say it again? He might be, 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 he might Read. As white as snow, Read. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. He said the eyes were the flame of fire. We were prophesied in the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and the 12th verse, that Christ would have eyes red with wine. His first miracle turned the water into wine. Right. When we drink wine on some strong drink, the white of our eyes turned to what? 
it turns red. Yes. So you gotta understand. That two strikes against that white image. Right. That's what? That's showing you what? That image right there, that's not our Lord and Savior. That white image is not the true image of Christ according to the Bible. Right. But read on. And his feet like unto fine bread. Now going to his skin color. It say, and his feet. I can look down. If y'all had y'all south, so I can look down. I can tell y'all skin completion. I can say, look, ain't your feet, ain't your feet the same color your hands? Right. Ain't your feet the same color your, your arms and your face? Read again from the top. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. Read. As if they. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What color is brass? Say it again. It's brown. That's right. Brass is brown. Read. As if. Now I said as if. Now we can see how brown Christ was. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now you take that and you burn it in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is going to turn? Black. It's going to turn black. Right. That's so what? Jesus Christ is a black man. That's to right. Fight. Guess what? The Jews, they are black as well according to the Bible. Right. Jeremiah 14 and 2. This is our history. This is what they're not teaching us. And guess what? We're going to teach you the truth today. Right? Read right. what you got. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Read. Judah morning. It says Judah morning. Judah is the top tribe of the nation of Israel. That's the so called black Israel today. That's you and I. That's us today. Read. Judah morning. In the case thereof, language. Uh -huh. They are black. They are what? They are black. What did you say the, uh, the true Jews look like? Yeah, what, what the Bible say the true Jews look like? Say it again, I can't hear y'all. You can put a mask on, I can't hear y'all. Wouldn't like. We do it one more time. From the top. I've been taught that at Judah. Judah morning. Now Jew. Jew is a short word for Judah. Right. I want y'all to pay attention. Jew is a short word for Judah. Read. Judah morning. Uh-huh. In the gates thereof language. Read. They are black. Now what color is the Jew? They are black. Now what? Do the Jews look like? They are black. Yes. Huh? But they white. No, they're not white. What you think about? You think about the so-called Israelis. You think about? You think about the Jewish people. Right. That's what you're thinking about. Just like when you used to call somebody childish. What he? What is he acting like? He acting like a child. But is he really a child? No, he's not a child. He's acting like a child. Right. Let's find out what, who, who they really are according to the Bible. Revelation 2 and 9. Revel Watch this. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy work uh -huh. and tribulation. God said, I know your work and your tribulation. Who's suffering in poverty? We are. They're not suffering in poverty. Free. And poverty. Free. But thou art rich. He said we are rich because what? Every promise is in his Bible. It's only promise that makes you And that's us. Free. And I know the blasphemy of them which say. Look, it said the blasphemy. A blasphemy is a what? A strong lie. That's what a blasphemy is. Free. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He said, I know the blasphemy of them. I know the lie of them which say. Say they are Jews. What national people are saying, walking around, say they are they are the Jews? You know, the Jewish people. Yeah, sure. They claim to be the Jews today, but God say, I know the lies of them which say they are Jews. Read. And are not. But are not what? And are not. He said they ain't the real Jews. What are they? But are the synagogue of. Satan. They say they are the house of Satan. That's, right. That's why they gave you the white image of Christ. Read Matthew 24 and 4. You understand? They don't want you to realize you are the best thing to ever walk this earth. Right. That's why they want you to keep you in a Negro mind state. They want you to, they want you to look at yourself like what? I'm nothing but an African American. That's why you don't look at him and he's nothing but an African American. That's why black and black crime is nothing to, it's nothing to us. Why do you think 
Why you say it's, it's, it's easy for us to kill one another, but we want to rise up and march when a white man kill us? Right. Think about it. It's a, because of that white image we've been gotten. Right. Read it. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Read. Take heed that no man deceive you. Now Christ had to tell the apostles. He said, hey, look, take heed that no man going to deceive you. He ain't talking about one man. He talking about a nation of people. Right. Read. For many shall come. Well, for what? For many. Now, if you Google Jesus Christ, how many images of that white image going to pop up? A lot of them. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. He said, many going to come in his name, saying what? They are Christ. Have they, have they been doing that for a long time? Right. Since, the, since we came here on slave ship, saying what? Hey, you better not be catching reading and writing. Hey, believe this Christ is your, is your Lord and Savior. You better take it and run with it. Right. Read. And shall deceive many. And they deceive, they didn't deceive all of us. Because we think that's the very image. Now give me the wrong Hey, guess, guess what? This is how we know the Bible is a true book. Right. And you know how we came here on slave ships with the shackles on our neck? Did you know that's in the Bible as well? Did you know that's in the Bible? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Speak, uh -huh. uh, but it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Look. Okay, what did Moses do for the nation of Israel? He had to go free the people, right? From the hand of Pharaoh. What, what were they doing in Egypt? Said they had to go free his people, right? If he had to go free them, what was what was they? There were slaves. Right? There were slaves in Egypt. All right. So after he freed his people from the hand of Pharaoh out of the land of Egypt, they was in the wilderness. All right. And this is what he told them in the wilderness. Read it again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And do y'all have children? All right. So uh, imagine you tell your kids something. Hey, look, if y'all don't listen until what I'm finna tell y'all, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. If y'all don't listen to every rule I break down in my household, read. And his statue which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If y'all don't listen to every rule I break down in, in my house today, all these consequences gonna come upon you today. Right. Now give me verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, he said, I'm gonna, he said, he said the Lord gonna bring thee, the nation of Israel, into Egypt again. What were we doing in Egypt the first time? Slaves. We were slaves. That's right. We were slaves in Egypt. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. How are we going to Egypt this time? With ships. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Think about it. I want y'all to think about it. How do we get to the land of America? Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with Shit. How did we get to North America, South America? We came here on cargo slave ships. That's right. That's a curse. That's a consequence of us not following the laws of God. Right. Read on. And by the way, whereof I spake unto thee. This is how you will tell your kids. As plain as I'm saying it, this is how it's going to happen to you. Because we walk out of the land of Egypt. So it don't take a boat for us to go back. So this is how you know it's not talking about the actual land of Egypt. He's talking about synonymously for slavery. He said, I'm going to put y'all back into slavery again, but this time, you're going there on the slave ship. And this time, how I'm saying it, it's going to happen plainly as I'm saying it. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. And he said, your homeland? He said, you're not going to see your homeland again. What's our homeland? Huh? Yeah, what's our own name? You see what I mean? You see how weird that Bible is? 
Right. And when God says you ain't gonna see our homeland again, you damn sure gonna forget it. Right. Cause you don't know what our homeland is. But let's find out. Cause the Bible got all the answers. Let's show my homeland real fast. That's all right. And that's what the, that's what the prophets are here for. We're not here to show you all the answers according to the Bible. All right. Read what you got. Galatians the book of Galatians, chapter five, verse twenty-six. Four, verse twenty-six. Uh huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. It said, "But Jerusalem, which is above, is free." Jerusalem is our motherland, right? Which is the mother of us all. See that? Jerusalem is our motherland. Go back. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, right? With ship. Uh huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right? Thou shalt see it no more again. He's talking about Jerusalem, our motherland. Right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What happened to him when we got here? What God called him? Read it again. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So what, so what, what is the white man? He's our enemy. That's right. Read. For born men and born women. For slave men and slave women. Read on. And no man shall buy you. Think about our leaders. Our, 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 great, our great men we have rise up for us, right? We have Michael Mix. We have Martin Luther King. We even had a black president. Right. He said no man can buy us. He's talking about what? No man can redeem us out of this slave got into. It. They tried. They tried their best. But could they save us from our conditions? Did anything change for us? Right. No. The situation got worse. That's right. Showing you what? Only thing that's gonna change is when we come back to the laws of God. That's right. You see that? Now, if the only thing gonna change for us is the laws of God, meaning what? We gotta learn the laws of God, right? Right. Let me show you the laws of God. Let me get number chapter 15 from 38. It's a simple law right here. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. I want you to figure out something. Every time you hear, read the Bible, it's only talking to one nation of people. Right. It's only talking to the nation of Israel. That's the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Uh -huh. And bid them. Bid them means to command them. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. You see how every brother out here got fringes? Right. These are fringes. These tassels are fringes. Right. Throughout their generation. Throughout your generation is how long? How long? Yeah, throughout your generation means how long? How long is that? How long, we, how, how, however how long we generating, that means how long we got to keep wearing them. Right. That means forever. Great. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. Check out the ribbon of blue. Every brother out here got a ribbon of blue upon their fringe as well. Right. This is a commandment. We are breaking against God, and that's why we went into slavery. Great. And it shall be unto you for a friend uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. He said you should look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. This is a reminder to keep all the commandments. You gotta think about it. If you got hatred towards your brother, your friend didn't be reminded like, hey, I can't have hatred towards my brother. Why? Because God said don't hate your brother. Right. Matter of fact, let's get there. Let's get Leviticus 19 and 17. Do you know you're not supposed to have hatred towards your brother? How are we gonna stop the black on black crime if we, if we got hatred towards one another? Right. We can't stop it. We gotta stop it. How? By first, we gotta fix ourselves. Right. Then we gotta help our brother help fix himself. You see that? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You see that? He said you should not hate your brother in your heart. He ain't talking about the heart that pumped blood. He's talking about your heart, meaning your mind. Right. Matter of fact, let's get there. Let's get Mark chapter 7, verse 21. You see how we're going from one precept to another? That's how we're going to read the Bible. That's how you get the understanding of the Bible. Watch this. The book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 21. Uh -huh. For, for, from within, out of the heart, 
of men. He said, from within out of the heart of men, what? Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed evil what? Thoughts. Showing you what? When they say a heart in the Bible, it's not talking about the heart that pumps your blood. Right. It's talking about your mind. Yes. You see, that? You see how easy it is to uh, yeah, catch on? But you need somebody to show you. Right. Right? Go back. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. He said you should any wise rebuke your neighbor. How you gonna do how you gonna do that? According to the Bible. You know how you rebuke your neighbor? That means you're showing you what? Friends. Right. You gotta start having friends on your church. That's me rebuking y'all according to the scriptures. That's me doing what? Showing you true love. Right. So if somebody that, if, if your Christian pastor ain't doing that, he ain't showing you what? He's not love. He don't love y'all. That's right. He's showing you what? If you go to church on Sunday and you pass out an offering, uh, offering plate, but he not teaching you no laws according to the Bible, he only wants you for your money. That's right. See that? Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. He said, and not suffer sin upon him. Think about it. What's the root? What's going to happen if you continue to sin? Right. The wages of sin is death. Right. Don't check out. You have a job. Yeah. All right. And, and, and in two weeks, what are you waiting for? A paycheck. Uh, Romans 6 and uh, 23. Just like if you continue to sin, your, your wages is what? Death. So when you work your job and you out there busting your tail, Wait for that paycheck. Like, man, you, if you get your paycheck, you call for the raise some hell, right? Right. So think about it. If you want to keep sinning, God is um, God is gonna pay you back. But this payment is gonna be death. That's right. Romans chapter six. Romans chapter six and verse twenty-three. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. You see that? He said the wages of sin is death. Now right, give me First John chapter three and verse fifteen. And the reason why I'm touching hate so 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 hard, because the simple mindset or a simple thought of hatred, you are already considered as a murder. You gotta stop that. You gotta stop that, all right? Three. First John chapter three, verse 15. Huh. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. So you had that simple thought of hatred, you already a murderer. Alright? So you can't even hate your brother in your mind. When you can think about it. What's, what's, when you, when you, when you decide to pick up that gun and shoot your brother, what does it start with? It starts with a simple thought. That's right. You, thought about it. you had to think about it first. Right. You had to meditate on that thought. Read it again. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Right. So you got to think about it. You got to learn how to discipline our minds according to the script. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.